Hey everyone, this is Micah with Eyes of Sean, and we have another audio description for y'all. This time we'll be describing the Moraine's Quest video that was released on October 22nd, 2021. We'll be doing an extended audio description where we describe a series of scenes before playing a few seconds of the video. While we describe the scenes, the screen shows our logo, which is described on our website, with Moraine's Quest audio description edit at the top and Eyes Vashon in larger letters at the bottom. I'll be reading the first two scenes, then Eddie and I will take turns with the rest. Our view moves slowly across the mountain range at dawn. Cut to a blurry figure coming toward us. It is revealed to be Moraine walking into the wine spring inn, removing her hood as she takes in her surrounding. Switch to Rand, Perrin, and Matt sitting outdoors at a wooden table, drinking and chatting as other Two Rivers villagers walk in the background. Moraine looks pensively into the distance. Fade to black. I am Moraine Sedai. Twenty years ago, I learned a secret. A vision of a baby being born. A baby who could change the world. Fade to Moraine in a field, tending to a white horse. Next, a solitary hooded figure approaches the wine spring inn at night, rain soaking the already muddy ground. People dance in two concentric circles, holding hands as they switch positions. Immediately after, we see two concentric rings of white shrouded corpses in shallow graves, with Aes Sedai dressed in different colors standing among them. A ring of snow surrounds everyone. In the last age, the Dark One was trapped by the last dragon at the cost of almost everything. Cut to two figures walking through a rocky terrain, followed by a wide shot of a high stone ridge where a horse and its rider approach the edge. Next, Moiraine is seen walking around a bustling village during the day while people glare at her. Cut to Moiraine atop her horse, galloping through a field and then through a dense forest. In the next scene, we see Moraine's outstretched hand pulling flows of the One Power toward her. A blurry village is seen in the background. Cut to Moraine staring toward us in a torchlit tunnel. Fade to black. Twenty years ago, the last dragon was reborn. We don't know where or to whom. What I do know is that my mission is to find them. Next, we see sheep that have been brutally slaughtered and laid out in a strange shape reminiscent of a teardrop. Quick shots show a line of people walking through a forest before switching to a desolate, dimly lit city with tall towers. We are given rapid views of Perrin, Matt, Rand, and then Egwene waking up startled. But we're running out of time. The Dark One is waking. His whispers are already in the backs of our minds. <laughs> At the edge of a cliff at night, we see a Merdral on horseback. Cut to Moraine and Lan walking to their horses in a forest. Moraine looks back. Then, a Merdral opens its mouth to cry out. Inside of its mouth are many rows of very long, very sharp teeth. Next, a fire is seen with the wisp of the One Power flowing up and out to the left. Following that, Egwene and Marin escape through a fire and sparks, panic. The sparks cut to Rand blowing out a candle and a lantern. If I do not succeed, the earth itself will burn, and the whole world will turn to darkness. We see Shatter Logoth again with its towering buildings being quickly overtaken by what appears to be a black shadow, leaving no light as it consumes everything. Next, Rand and Egwene stand on an open patio overlooking the city skyline. Cut to Rand, Egwene, Perrin, and Matt riding horses through a forest. Then, we see three of them from behind, overlooking a vast forest from the edge of a cliff. A red substance spreads quickly through water, transitioning into a tree line. There will be one who can stand against him. The dragon has been born again. We see Perrin walking through a forge with the lightning storm raging outside. Someone holds up their bloody hand while someone else stands a few feet behind. A woman runs from fiery destruction with two wagon carts in the background. A rearing horse is overcome by shadow. Egwene runs up to the parapet of a city wall. 
we see shots of Moraine with her arms outstretched and the power circling around her, then Lan spinning with his sword. Finally, we see rapid views of Egwin, Rand, Matt, and Perrin's faces. Who is the Dragon Reborn? Cut to a metallic snake biting its own tail with the words, the Wheel of Time, over it. At the top are the words, Amazon Original Series, with November 19th at the bottom. Cut to the Prime Video logo on a blue background. Thank you everyone for joining us on this extended audio description edit of Moraine's Quest. We hope you found it helpful, especially for other blind and visually impaired fans and informative for everyone on why these videos and these edits are important. Join us on our next audio description edit for the full trailer coming soon.